Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can remove green screen backgrounds in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.2, nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's move on to this composting tab, click on this composting tab here. Now enable this use notes option here. So here we got these two nodes. Now let me select this render layer node and let me delete this one. So here we need to add our green screen footage. So for that we'll be using a movie clip node, so shift A come to the search option and search for movie so select this movie clip so here we got this movie clip node here now let's load our footage so simply click on this open button and look at the footage so here i got this green screen footage so i will select this one and open clip so here you can see we got our movie clip loaded so now here i want to have a preview of our green screen footage at the background here so for that I need to add a viewer node so shift a come to the search and look for view so select this viewer node here and let me place this here now let me connect this image to image of this viewer node so now you can see we got our green screen footage at the background so here if you want to zoom out press v on the keyboard to zoom out and if you want to zoom in hold alt key and press v to zoom in so now holding alt key use middle mouse to pan around this area and if you want to zoom in this nodes just use mouse scroll key up and down to zoom in and hold middle mouse key to rotate or move like this okay so now let me zoom out a bit so here we got our green screen so now let's add a keying node in order to remove this green screen so shift a come to the search and add this key node select this key node here and let me place this in between this movie clip and viewer node so now by default we got some white color keyed out because we have got this default key color selection as white so let me click on this default color and let me select this pick tool option and let me pick this green color so now you can see we got rid of that green screen here so now let's check the screen mat option so in order to go to the screen mat option hold shift control and click on this mat option left click here now it will change this to mat option here so now you can see here we want our subject to be complete white and this background to be complete black so now let's play with the value of this clip black and clip white so if i increase this clip black value we'll get our background completely turned into black which we want and we want our subject to be in complete white. So let me reduce this a bit. Okay. So now we got our screen mat corrected. So here you can see we got some unwanted parts. Here. So we need to add a mask to get rid of these unwanted white areas. Okay. So now let's mask the footage. So in order to mask this footage, come to this plus icon, VFX, and select this masking. So here we got our masking window. So let's load our footage. So select this drop down and select the footage here and scroll mouse key so now here we got our footage so now let's create a new mask by clicking on this new tab so click on this and let me rename this as garbage mask now press shift plus a and select this square and let me place this here so here i want to have the character inside the mask so let me place the mask here so basically we are adding mask around our character and let's say that our character is staying inside this mask only so if i scroll through you can see our character is staying inside the mask okay so after adding this mask again come to this composting option composting tab now let's add a mask node to add that mask to this king node so shift a search for mask select this mask and let me place this here and let me zoom it out and let's select our mask so click on this let me zoom it so 
drop down and select this garbage mask now let's connect this mask to this garbage mat so now we got this mask added but we need to invert this mask so let's add an invert node so shift a search invert search for invert select this invert and drop it between this garbage mask and keying so now you can see we got rid of that white parts here so let me show you once again so here we got this white spots which we don't want so if i connect this you can see we got rid of that white okay so now let's move back to this image so shift control left click and now we got our image and also let's connect to this composite node so image to composite you know to get the render so now let's add a background so if you want to add a background image add an image node so shift a select add an image node select this image and load your image from here so here i will add a movie clip so i will delete this one and i will search for movie clip so select this movie clip here okay so here i want to add a movie clip as background so now let me select the movie clip so open and here i got this movie clip so i will load that one so now you can see we got that movie clip added so now if you want to have this movie clip added behind our character first we need to select this movie clip hold shift key select this keying node and press ctrl alt 0 so now you can see we got our background added behind this character nice so if you want to render this out come to this output properties scroll down select an output folder where you want to save the output files so here i have selected an output file so file format i will change this to mpeg video and encoding i will change this to okay it is h264 only so let it be h264 and output quality i will make it high and okay rest and all i will leave like that only and i will render this out by clicking on this render animation and by the way if you want to render this out without any background that means with alpha channel so let me show you that one also so let me select these things here and let me delete this one and let me connect this image sorry let me connect this image to image of this viewer and let me connect this image out to this composite okay and hold shift key right click and let me join these two nodes okay so now we will get alpha channel here so in order to get alpha channel rendered out come to this output properties here select the file format as png and make sure this color should be set to rgba alpha after that come to this render and render animation so this will render out without any background and it will be transparent so in this way we can remove this green screen backgrounds in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye